Now in the last lecture, we already created our first view application and got started with it. Now let's enhance it a little bit more before I then of course dive much deeper into it in the next course sections. So what I want to do right now though is I want to add an input field. I can do this by typing input and hitting tab, which will give me that in GIS Fiddle. And now this input here, I want to allow the user to type something there and update my title depending on what the user enters. Well, I can do this by adding a command to this input field, an instruction Vue.js will recognize. This is called a directive. The directive I need is v-on and this is, as I just said, a special command Vue.js will recognize. Keep in mind this whole part is under control of Vue.js. And then the thing this v-on command tells Vue.js is please listen to some event. Now which event? I pass this as an argument and arguments are passed to directives by adding a colon and then the name of the argument. In this case the name of the event I want to listen to. It's the input event which is fired on every keystroke and then I assign a value to this and between the quotation marks I would now write the code which I want to execute whenever this gets updated. So here what I want to do is I want to call a method and calling a method is very simple. I can simply call change title here. Now of course this method doesn't exist yet so let's create it. Creating methods is simple, as with data, Vue.js also got a reserved property in the Vue instance, which is called methods. And no worries, you will learn about all these reserved property names and how they work throughout the course. Methods is again an object, and here we simply set up all the methods we want to use either in our template or from within our Vue instance. So here I named it change title up there, so let's name it change title here too. This is a function, therefore. And now in this function, I want to change my title. And here's the first important thing. I won't say data.title or something like that. Instead, I can say this title equals. Now, this referring to the data object certainly looks a bit strange. And it is strange. It's some magic being done in the background by Vue.js. It proxies all our data properties, like title, to the top view instance object automatically, which is why we can access it with this. I will come back to this later in the course, but for now it's just important to keep in mind you got access to all the properties stored in data and also to all the methods stored in methods by accessing them with this and then the name. So this title gives me access to the title stored here. And now I want to assign the value the user entered into the input. Well, thankfully, as with vanilla JavaScript, there is this event object being created automatically for me. This has nothing to do with Vue.js. This is vanilla JavaScript and how the DOM works. I get this event object, which, for example, also stores the target of the event, which, of course, will be this input field. Now this event object, which is created automatically by JavaScript, is passed to this method automatically by Vue.js. So I can fetch it because I know I will receive an argument and I'll name it event. This again is this default event object created by JavaScript. Now here I can simply say event. I know that this default object has a target property and I know that the target will be the input field of which I know it will have a value property holding the value the user entered. Well, and with this in place, that's all. If we now hit control enter again, we see this input. And if we type something there, we see that it updates our title. This is awesome, I'd say. This is our first Vue.js application. And we built it in like eight minutes. Really awesome. So with that, let's see how you can work your way through this course, what this course has to offer, how you could set up the same example locally on your machine before we then dive super deep into Vue.js in the next lectures.